Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you guys read the title of this video, you would know, obvi, that it's going to be a tattoo tag. So, I have a tank top on because... Show off the tattoos, right? So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be talking about just all the tats that I have, when I got them, how much they hurt, how much they cost. So if you're interested in seeing, you know, when I got it on my body, I can tell you watching. Okay, so the funny thing about this video is I recorded this video, I want to say like a week ago, but <laughs> I was literally all over the place and I was like, oh, I got to do that again. I forgot to tell the cost, the pain of things. I was just going on and on and I was just like, listen, if I was watching this, I would click out. So take two on recording this video. So the first time I recorded this video, I did it in like chronological order. So like when I when I got the first one to like the most recent, but I think it was hard. Like I was like, what did I get next? Like mad slow. But I think this time I'm just gonna do like from top to bottom and just, you know, work my way up. So the first tattoo I have on my foot, I got when I was 18. And I got this tattoo right before I got baptized. And this was, I think, my third or fourth tattoo um and i wanted it to be something a little more creative like i wanted to be like i want this to go here like i want it to be all like you know on my i'm a little artist type of tattoo um i wish it would have came out a little different not the tattooer's fault but just i feel like i wish i would have made it a little bigger or a little more of like a i don't know like a fuller thing like it looks kind of small on my foot but it's basically an illustration of luke 9 23 when Jesus is talking about, you know, like, yo, if you want to be my disciple, you have to pick up your cross and follow me. Like, and so I wanted to just create that by having, you know, the little Jesus fish and then the feet following and then the cross at the top. So, and then I have 6, 13, 13. That was the day that I got baptized. And then I have 1 Corinthians 11, 1, which is basically follow me as I follow the example of Christ. And that's kind of just um, the example that I wanted to set and just like, oh my gosh, like, this is it jesus is lord changing my life following god and like so yeah i got that for that this tattoo on my foot i it hurt like i would think from a one to a five i would probably give it like a four like it hurt pretty bad but um i was with my friends they were making me laugh so i was just like you know what whatever like all good in the hood and i paid 135 for that tattoo okay the second tattoo that i have moving up is on the back of my left ankle and that's basically a little coffee cup it looks more like a teacup but whatever there's coffee in it and um there's a d on it and then a red heart which you could barely see the red because i'm brown i got that tattoo with one of my besties in high school and basically it just symbolizes like anytime we were like yo let's do something we have no business doing we went to Dunkin' Donuts and got coffee. Like, you know, like, that was it. Let's go get our coffee. Once we get our coffee, the battery's in our back. We're doing what we want. Like, no matter, like, if our parents were like, no, you can't go. Like, if we knew we shouldn't have been doing what we were going to be doing. Like, once we got our coffee, you knew we were scheming. That was it. Oh, and we also always played stay scheming when we were on our way. Shout out to high school. Um, it didn't really hurt that bad and it went by like this. I don't remember how much I paid for it But it wasn't much like the tat is really small. I got it done in Brooklyn So, you know tats are usually cheaper in Brooklyn from my experience and yeah, I think it was like 60 70 dollars like it wasn't that much. Okay, so moving up I have a tattoo on my leg and I got this tattoo. I want to say like last summer, yeah, I got this tattoo last summer and it basically says are you not of more value than they and I got this tattoo idea from Matthew 6 which is definitely top five of my favorite scriptures in the bible it basically is jesus talking about like not worrying about tomorrow and just how like the birds and animals are fed every day they don't have you know shop right to just go to up the street like but you know every day they're just like yo i'm gonna eat and they do like no one ever watches them get food but like their food what they need is always provided for and jesus is basically like yo like aren't you more valuable than them like why wouldn't i you know take care of you type of thing so i just wanted to get that on my leg as a reminder like sis calm down life will happen when it happens this tattoo i would say definitely a four like it hurt um i just feel like the thigh is so like there's just meat there it's just mad tender mad sensitive like it hurt i wasn't like oh my god but like i was like yo like are you done because i'm gonna die in two seconds please hurry up i have two tattoos on my wrists one here one here this tattoo i got 
long time ago. This was my second tattoo. I got this with my bestie. There's basically a heart and then there's little, I guess like heartbeat EKG machine things. And it just continues on onto my bestie's arm as one heartbeat. And so she kind of has the other one on her opposite arm. And we got that a long time ago, like, how old am I, 23? Probably like 17 years old, I don't know, somewhere around there. But this was probably like $20, mad cheap. We got it in not a good place by a not a good person that I think learned how to tattoo when he was in jail. Moving on. This tattoo right here is a number numeral seven and I got this for my 21st birthday with my bestie. Um, so seven is just a very special number to me. I feel like great things come in seven for me, either number seven or seven of them, or like seven is just my number. I was born on the seventh. I wear a size seven in shoes. Seven is lit. So I was like, yo, it's my birthday. Let's go get a tat. And we got sevens. My bestie's also born on the seventh. Just so, you know, it wasn't like, I'm getting a seven, you get a seven too. Like, you know, no. Um, wrist tattoos don't really hurt. I personally don't think so. My wrists are very skinny and bony. I didn't think it hurt. Um, this tattoo was about $60. I got this at a really professional place. And here comes my brother. Talk money gang. Find a new area. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna record your room. Get out! No! Is, uh, oh my. Has it seriously been recording for that whole time? No. Where was I? It honestly took Brian 30 minutes to get out. Goodness. Okay. Where was I? Just in my leg? Did I see how much that hurt? It hurt a lot. Moving up, I also have a tattoo on my side, which I'm not going to show because hello, internet. It basically says family is love and it says it in Creole. I'm not going to say it because I'm a vacation. So, but yeah, it says family is love and it's right here. Um, <clears throat> that was my first tattoo. I got it when I was like 10. <laughs> JK. But I was really young. Like, I was in my teens. And again, that was done by the jail guy in his kitchen on his dining room table. <laughs> and I think that was like 50 bucks, something like that. Yeah, and it didn't hurt at all. I was literally laughing through the whole thing. I thought it tickled. You know what it feels like? It feels like if a cat is like scratching you with its hands. And like I know that hurts when you think about it. But like we all have gotten scratched by a cat before. And it was like, ow. But it was like, I'm not about to die though. You know? <laughs> Moving up, I have this tattoo right here. This tattoo. Um, I got this maybe a couple years ago. Maybe 2013. God is greater than the ups and downs and um, I got this tattoo in Staten Island he charged me 80 bucks for it and I was honestly so mad that it was so expensive but I was young and dumb I was like yes please just tattoo me I need it this tattoo hurt I would say on a scale of one to five it was a four four and a, four and a half solid four and a half almost five four point seven five like it almost like it hurt I saw this tattoo on Pinterest and I was like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. And I just kind of love what it stood for. Like, in all actuality, like, God is really bigger than anything that we're going through. Like, I know it's so easy to just look at life and be like, yo, this is trash. But at the end of the day, like, everyone goes through their stuff and everyone makes it out okay for the most part. Like, and especially if you are Christian or if you are have, or if you are have, do I speak English? If you do have some type of religion that you believe in and just... Um, a greater power that's bigger than yourself it definitely is a lot more comforting and peaceful than just like you know going through life just not really knowing what you're doing not really having a handle on things not really having a peace or hope bigger than you because let's be honest we're human and we're gonna mess up so i really like this tattoo and it definitely just you know thinking about it just gives me a sense of peace like okay it's okay because god's bigger next going up we have this tattoo right here these are orchids and there is a little 
don't know if you could see you can't really see it but there's an mk right here um i got these orchids last just kidding this year maybe like two or three months ago this tattoo was 115 and it didn't hurt at all like honestly it was i was on the table chatting away and then before i knew it he was done I got these orchids because uh, for those of you who know me, you would know last year I went to a car accident and it was trash. Told my first BMW, but um, after I had to get surgery on my knee and I ended up being home for three weeks just on the couch, gaining 30 pounds and hating myself. And um, my aunt came to visit me and she brought me orchids. And that was just really important to me because I feel like, you know, just during that time, like just having people to come see you just meant so much like I don't know if you've ever gotten surgery before but it's trash and um I don't know it just meant a lot to me and she brought me orchids and I'm usually not a flower person like when people buy me flowers it's like aww and then it's like what am I supposed to do with them I really like them and I was like what kind of flowers are these like they're so cool I really like them they're beautiful and then um the MK on the pot stands for because one of my besties came to visit me when I got my surgery and she got me something for my course so I was just like you know what like I want to symbolize that you came to visit me when life was trash and yeah so I got that tattoo lastly this tattoo that I get the most questions for and the most compliments this tattoo I got because I really wanted um like an artsy tattoo and you know at that time I only had like writing and stuff like that but i saw this it wasn't completely like this but it was like something like this i got this changed and i changed the eyebrow it was a lot more like egyptian looking um modeled after the eye of horus which i don't believe in any of that stuff but apparently it's the sun god cool but i got this around my brother's birthday and you can see that there's a b right here um for brian because that's his name and it was kind of just like a tattoo it was like you know like just dedication to my brother like that like um during the time we were in college together and i was like yo this is that my bestie but um kind of like that whole apple of my eye kind of thing so yeah he's right here this tattoo cost me i think it was 150 and then i like gave him a tip my last tattoo is on my back it's on my left shoulder blade y'all and it says being a mother is a job and you are my biggest investment and no i'm not a mom i get that so much when people read it but my mom would say that all the time to me and i thought that was just kind of cool because just like you know her mindset is kind of just like i need to invest in my children as much as possible and because of my investment like you will be great and i just kind of just like you know how she kind of raised us like that and um under i have her signature and i got that for her birthday her 50th birthday so yeah I think that's pretty much it. I will also say that this tattoo right here, 6 out of 5. This tattoo was the only tattoo that I cried for. I was literally on the table like, <laughs> please, are you done? Like literally, yo, I was in tears. I didn't care who was there. I was like, this hurts. I felt like he was scratching into my bones. Like, no, I was not here for that. But that tattoo, um... Yeah, it cost me 150. If you guys sat through this whole video, thank you so much. Um, hopefully I can do more videos like this that aren't hair videos or vlogs, but just like, you know, little fun bits of you guys just being able to learn about me. Um, if you liked it, give it a, <laughs> yeah, guessed it. And subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Lele.